how to change gears I'm going to show you how to change your gears I'm also going to show you the problems that you will have when you're changing the gears especially if you're just starting off and you're learning to drive and, and this can happen on your test when you get a bit nervous so just to show you the gear stick is here on this car it's got five gears and you got the reverse gear as well and the reverse gear is on this the bottom side sometimes you get them in different places they generally here or they're there so what i'm going to show you is neutral gear first obviously don't start the engine unless it's in neutral it's the line that goes across so you see if i flick it this way or i flick it that way whatever way you go here yeah it's always opposite third and fourth okay can you see that you flick it again you flick it again no matter where the spring it'll spring back to there so three and four and there uh, and, and you can see that it's so easy if it's in gear see where it's like in neutral it moves right across when it's in gear it doesn't move much so you want to make sure it's in neutral before you start the car i'm going to show you the problems that you will have when you're learning to drive so let's say you're, you're just starting to drive and your instructor or whoever's uh, taking you out in the car whoever takes you out in the car make sure they're legal so the last may say select first and the first thing you do is I've got to keep my hand below here so that you can see this here so you'll push it forward like this so that's a problem now you've stuck it in third and you're going to struggle moving off in third it's any stalls so to give you the solution to that not putting it in third but bring it back to neutral what you want to do when you go to first make sure you push it towards the passenger door and then push it forward to first uh, so that is a solution for not sticking it in third gear it will always go in first if you do it correctly like this now another problem you're going to get is that when you go to second you're going to let go of the pressure and what will happen is i'll just do it from here let go of the pressure it goes back opposite there you'll pull it back and stick it in fourth which is uh, not a good idea from first to fourth so what i'll show you i'll give you the solution to fix that so you go back over to first and all you do is that when you go to second keep the pressure towards the door passing the door then pull it straight back yeah and you can see that's now in second now the other problem you're probably going to get when you're in second gear you're probably getting up a bit of speed around about 20 mile an hour and you think it might be under a bit of pressure to go to third so you're going to rush now and what you'll generally do don't forget these are the problems i'm not saying you're going to do it but i'm showing you the problems that people have when they change the gear you just push it forward and you end back in first gear and if you let the clutch up in first gear doing about 20 mile an hour then this car is going to slow down really really rapidly and the danger being that is because you haven't pressed the brakes to slow down the driver behind has no warning that you're slowing down so the chances are depending on the tailgating you know they're giving you if you're tailgating they're quite likely going to go into the back of you because your car slowed down rapidly without any warning uh, so to solve this problem let's go back here when you want to go from second to third what you want to do you want to ball your thumb here your, this bit here the muscle bit just get it on there and just push it out of there and you see the way it's lined itself to third and you go into three i'll just do that again for you you grab it tight you end up first which you don't want to do what you do is just push it gently forward so it comes out sort of stuck in a notch like this you want it to come out like this so you just push it gently there and now it's lined up with third gear, just push it forward. Fourth gear is straight back. Now I wouldn't recommend you going to fifth gear if you're taking dri uh, a driving test. They're not going to fail you for not going to fifth. I had, a, I had a pupil once that was asking me to show her how to do fifth and I said yeah. I said well, when you go on your test just stick to the four gears. But anyway on a driving test she decided to go over to fifth. Uh, I think she was doing about 45 miles an hour so at a high speed like that your steering wheel especially with the, if it's got powered steering it's going to be dead light so when she went over to fifth on a test she was doing this but she pulled the right arm which pulled the, the wheel into the next lane and I, um, there was an over, a car just about to overtake it so the examiner grabbed the wheel uh, when she got back to the test center uh, she said he said i'm awful sorry you failed and she said uh, she, she, she realized what she'd done and he just said to what did you go to fifth gear for and she said i just wanted to show her i could go to fifth and he said unfortunately you know 
you, you couldn't. So he, she failed. She went back the second time and passed. So be wary about this going into fifth at high speed. The wheel's dead light. So this one, when you want to come back from fifth, just pull it back and let it rest between three and four. So you might, it depends on what speed you're doing. You could go down to third. You might even just go down to fourth. If you're stopping, yeah, or the traffic light has just changed to red, just use your brake, put the clutch down before the stalls, put your handbrake on, stick and loose, and then go to first because you're ready to move off then. Okay, so now we, we're in, just say we're in fourth, we want to go down the gears. This is problems that you're going to have here. Generally, you're all right, we're going back to four to three, it's just straightforward. You'll see like a problem that people have when they're going to third to second. Yeah, what they generally do is because there's just a bit of a panic going on, they're trying to do it quickly. You'll just go straight back to fourth, which is really not what you want. If you're slowing down, this is a problem. So, like to fix that problem, the solution is you pull it back to the middle again, push it towards the passenger door, and then pull it back, and you're in second gear. And you see, if you keep the pressure on, you know, and you want to go down to first. If you don't, you'll end up pushing it forward and third, which you don't really want to do. And another thing you need to know is that a pupil of mine was at the traffic lights about the next junction on the left was the test centre and she said I seen the test centre and she forgot she'd stopped in third so she tried to move off. So if we do stop, she tried to move off in third and stall three times and yeah the examiner had to tell her yeah, I'm awful sorry but you're in you're in the wrong gear there, you're in third, you need to put it in first and she was just two minutes from the car park and the test centre. Apart from that, she, she's only had a couple of minor faults. But uh, she got a serious because he had to tell her. Uh, they, they got stuck at the lights, basically. And he had to tell her to go stick it in first gear, which uh, wasn't any good for her, unfortunately. Yeah. But uh, these things happen. So I'm just trying to show problems that you probably get with the gears, and I'm giving a solution. So if you stop at the lights, and you might like, uh, she, she was distracted by looking at the junction, just both, I would say, 50 yards, 30 odd meters down the road, just on the left. She, does, she was saying, I'm only going to go in there and up past. But she didn't check what gear she was in. So she did, if she'd have just gone like this, yeah, and then over there like that, she would have drove off from first, got back to the test centre, and passed, unfortunately. She, her mind was focused somewhere else. She'd already convinced herself she passed. You would have passed if she hadn't have done this. So she went back the next time and passed. Anyway, so I hope this helps. So I'll go through it again. This is how you do it correctly. Push it over to first. Keep the pressure on. Back to second. You can slide your hand around here. Just ball of, with the ball of your thumb there. Push it into three. Back to four. You want to go to fifth, but it's entirely up to you. I'll show you how to do it. You push it forward and you push it towards the driver's door and push it forward again so you so the here push it again forward push it into the middle sideways to the driver's door forward to fifth if you want to come out of fifth you got to you, you, the traffic slowing down but you're not stopping you just pull it back and let it settle there and then either, you might be going into four or three so let's say you go to three to go from three to two you pull it back in the middle so it lands in the middle of it push it over to the, towards the passenger door bring it back to second if you want to go to down like you're using the gear sequ sequential um you just go into first just a, just a word of um, advice and tip newer cars today have got disc brakes uh, years ago they had drum brakes so really speaking years ago we used to use the gears me, me included to slow the car down you can still use engine braking and um, but ideally you can just brace now the brakes will stop because they've all got disc on some have got disc on the front wheels and some have got drums on the back with the disc on the generally the, the brakes are pretty good anyway i'm going to put it back into neutral and i hope that helps and i'll see you in the next video bye for now